Hi, I'm Joanne Russell, past Wimbledon champion, doubles 1977. And now I've found pickleball and I love it. I'm gonna teach you how to move. The serve, some people just get it in because you're only allowed one serve. So if you miss it in the net, you've lost your chance. You definitely don't wanna miss it in the net or miss it out wide. So there are three B's, B as in boy, of serving. The paddle has to come from below the ball. That's the number one B. It has to come from below the ball. Usually it comes that way in a pendulum swing. The next is the, ha the paddle has to be below your wrist at contact of the ball. So some people take it back and then they contact the ball and their paddle is above the wrist. That's illegal. The third B of serving is you have to hit the ball below your waist. So the paddle has to come from below the ball, which is in a pendulum swing. Then the paddle has to be below your wrist at contact. And then you have to make sure you hit it below your waist. Um, those are the three B's of serving. It's just below, below, below. So when you serve, and, and that line over there is really a depth line. We want the ball to be at those targets, or it can even be beyond. But you don't want to serve too short, because then that get, that's bringing that person in, and they're even in closer because the ball is shorter. So the number one thing is people get over here and they just... They go, oh, I'm serving. And you don't want to just serve it up. I'm usually wearing eye protection every time. So um, they're not going to see where I'm looking anyway. So you want to take one good look where you're going to serve, and then you have your routine. And what's a routine? It's something you do over and over and over. You don't bounce it three times once and then 17 times the next time. You bounce it, if that's what you're doing, you bounce it three times every time. You do everything. So I have a little routine. I look at where I want to serve. I pick out where I want to stand on the line. It is legal to stand over here, here, way out here. You cannot serve out here because you're outside of the court. But you can kind of start out here and walk over here to get it in. So I pick where I want to go. I change it up constantly because I don't want somebody knowing where I'm going to serve. So I look at my target. I look at the ball. And then I hit it. And I don't look up until I hear the sound on my paddle. Because if you look up, the ball goes up, it goes in the net. So. I don't know what your um, routine is, but mine is the same. It's always, I get over here, I look at my target. Now, I went for the orange target over there. Now I'm here, so what? They're probably not thinking I'm going for the orange target. But I look at the orange target, I touch my paddle face with the ball, I look once, and I hit it almost on the target. Because I look, and once you look down at the ball, you're not forgetting where you're hitting. You know exactly where it is. Your brain is really good. It will not hit it over to the left if you're looking to the right. You are, you're definitely gonna do it. But you cannot keep your eyes up and then fish for the ball there. So, all right. All right, so what is your routine? I usually bounce it a couple of times. Okay. Okay, we're gonna watch. Very nice, that was deep. Were you aiming for the one in the middle? Fantastic, that's great. Serve another one. Okay, so you were obviously aiming for the purple. Okay, now get it in. So give yourself margin for error. It doesn't need to be, the purple's way away from the line. You don't need to aim for the line. Right. Go for in between the purple and the yellow. Okay. Perfect, perfect. 
Okay, now go for the orange. Beautiful, beautiful. And one thing, when you're practicing your serve, do your routine every time. It does take longer, but then when you get up to serve and pressure is mounting because the score is close, you want to win, you're getting a little nervous, if you don't do the same thing, you're going to miss it in the net. So, I mean, hey, you allow yourself one, maybe two, max miss serves per match. When you get to two, forget it. Like if I get to two and I have, I go, nope, I got to get it in. So I look and, and of course, you don't have targets over there. So somebody is always returning serve, They're, they stand about right here and I look at their feet because that way I am never gonna go to either line. I'm going, I'm gonna go to their feet and where are they gonna go? I'm not giving them an angle to hit the return back. I go, all right, I'm gonna go to their feet. So I'm going right foot. I look at their right foot and I hit it over there. And I don't miss it because I already missed two. I can't afford to miss anymore, all right? Come on over here. Mo, let's go. Oh, very nice. Okay, where are you going? I went to the orange, so now I'll go for the yellow. Okay. Ooh, nice serve. All right. Just remember, what are the three B's again? Below the wrist. Right. Below the waist. Uh-huh. Come from below the ball or below the ball. The paddle has to come from below the ball, like in a pendulum swing. Okay. The paddle has to be below your wrist and you have to hit it below your waist. And I played it somebody in the US Open, he was a lefty, and he'd go like this and he came through like this every time. I happened to watch him before we went out to play. So I looked at my partner and I thought, ah, I'm not even going to mention it. No, I don't, want him, I don't want to be thinking about, that guy has an illegal serve. And I went, don't care. And somebody says, what, you didn't care? I said, of course I care. But you know what? If I'm obsessed about why, you know, his serve, I said, I'm losing, uh, I'm losing track of what's important. What is important? Getting it in. Win the point. Get it over, get it in. You know, he's only got one serve, so what the hey? And you know what? It was really good, not thinking about somebody who had an illegal serve. Very nice. Nice depth. So if you're, say your serve's going off, get it deep, and you know what? You have a target over there. You have a right foot and a left foot. So if you miss a couple, you don't need to be fancy. You don't need to go over here and get it out. Like, I get mad at myself because I tend to get a little fancy. I'm gonna go for the left one. Okay. Okay, well that's fine. Keep your eye, like only look up once. Okay. You see that purple thing? It's in there. You could close your eyes and hit it. There you go. Okay. That was like that far from making it right on the number. Do it again, so look at your target. Okay which is the yellow one, so that's like a right foot. Okay. You look up and then look down. Okay. Look at your paddle and the ball. Amazing. That is okay. so good. Okay. That is so good. Ooh, I think that was in. I mean, that was better than aiming there. But see, that's all you have to do. Get yourself a routine. Like, like I said, return to serve. Get a routine. Don't let somebody quick serve you. So I think that is fantastic. So now, it's say you hit it and people are getting used to your serve. So what do you do? Well, you got to have a change up. So what I do is if somebody, like I'm serving as hard as I can and all of a sudden they're getting it back and I'm like, oh God, what do I do now? Well, I hit a deep high ball. 
And even if it's short, sometimes people will miss because they are wanting to hit it. They're like so ready to hit that ball hard and all of a sudden this little piece of popcorn comes floating over there and they miss it. And I'll use that as a change of pace. And then I also use a little bit of spin. Um, you know, if I hit it over there, and this is the one where you actually cut the ball right to left. And remember when we had our ball with the one, two, three, four, that you go from one to two. So I'm starting at one and sliding over to two, and it just gives it a different spin. And now if you're receiving this serve, and you see somebody start their paddle out to the right and go like this, when it bounces, it's always gonna go in the direction of the paddle. So if somebody starts with their backhand over here and, it, and they hit it, it's gonna go that way. So there you go, there's an easy way not to overrun one way or the other trying to guess where it goes. So I still have my same, like my sister calls me the bowler because I look like I'm bowling. And that's how I taught her to serve. You know, when you're bowling, you go down like this, you pick out what pin you're gonna hit. It goes in the corner. And one of the things if, come on over here, you're gonna serve, is when you get to the contact, if you're too loose holding your paddle, it'll either go like this or flop like this, and so the ball will veer off one way or another. So you wanna hold your paddle like one to 10, maybe like a, a five or a six, because you've still got a little, but that's when you, I take it back, it's pretty loose, but when I start coming through, I firm it up a little bit, because I want my paddle to stay the same, and I want the ball to go over there. Okay, perfect. See, so you really have to make yourself look over here because you've got so much spin. So, and then it tends to, to fly out. And what's our second worst error in pickleball? Out wide. Everybody, if you go there, they always call it out. Forget it, you're not getting any gifts over there. You might get a gift at the baseline, but you're not, definitely not gonna get one in the net and you're not getting one over there. And what I mean by a gift is that you know, the ball's coming kind of fast, they look down and from way over there, I'm thinking, oh, I think that was out. But maybe it was in. And they go, well, I, I don't know, good. And they give me the ball back. And I'm like, wow, that was good. So you know what? We do the same things. Like I look at my partner, did you see it? And she goes, no. And I go, I can't call it either. Good. So if you can't call it, we, you may have gotten a gift. So where are you aiming? The yellow. Oh yeah, that's good, very good. Oh yeah, I like that, that's very good. Really deep, it's a little higher, I mean it's kind of unusual, that's very good. And you know what, just keep working on it. And me, I'm a bowler, I start back here and I go, one, two, oops, I stepped on the line there. But you can, start like this. I've seen people serve and start like that. Whatever it takes, whatever is most comfortable. Like I can tell you until I'm blue in the face, oh, this is the best serve ever. Maybe not for you. So you've got to get what you feel makes your serve go in every time. And if it's like this, fine. If it's like this, uh, it doesn't make any difference to me. Okay, serve one more. Okay, she's got to serve. Yes! <laughs> All right, so last but not least on the serve is now they're allowing a serve where the ball can bounce. Now, you cannot throw it into the ground and you cannot toss it into the, um, toss it up and hit it up here. Let it bounce. You can hold it up here and let it go if you would like to. So I'm back here and I'm thinking, okay, I, I kind of like the old bounce hit. And at first, 
I was totally against it. But then I teach people they cannot let go of the ball. They cannot let go like that and then get their paddle and swing like that. They, they hit their fingers, they, I mean, oof, it's so painful. It's painful to watch. So I said, you know what? They have a new serve that you can do and they do it until they feel really comfortable. And then eventually they get the, the feel of tossing. But if you cannot get your serve in, who's gonna ask you to play? And I said, no, you gotta learn this serve. So I, I, I am a total convert, I love this serve. I, I think if you are, uh, you know, four, five, five, oh, maybe even a four, oh, you should hit a regular serve, but I don't care. See how far I lean out? You can drop the ball in there. You just can't step in there before you hit it. So I'm all ready. I got my ball ready and then boom. I have a very good serve underhand like that, but you know what? I'm, I'm perfectly happy with mine in the air. But for those people that cannot, you know, they, they hit it, they hit their fingers, let go. I'm loving that serve for them because now they, they play pickleball because they can serve, they can start the point. And I said, look, that's all you need to do. Just stick it out there, let it go and hit it over. So there you go, you are in like Flynn. So now there's a serve for everybody.